In this lesson, we're going to talk about math and geometry in connection to dance. I bet when you watch dancers move, you see lots of different shapes that they make with their bodies. Teachers even use geometry terms to talk about some of those shapes. If I stand at the bar here, and I use my supporting leg, the leg I stand on, as one part of a line. When I lift my leg to the side, the angle and shape changes with the height of my leg. If I lift my leg straight to hip height, we often call that 90 degrees in dance. The reason would be, if my leg goes straight out to the side, it makes a right angle or a 90 degree angle in the center. So when a teacher asks for a 90 degree leg, a dancer knows exactly what shape to make with his or her body. We'll put our 90 right up there. 90 is in red. Now, if I lift my leg not as high, and I go about halfway between, that's right, I'll make a 45 degree angle with my body. So if a teacher asks for a 45 degree leg, dancers know where to lift their legs. So here, let's add on 45 degrees in orange. And so there's our acute 45 degree angle. Now, if I go back to the same place and my leg goes above 90 degrees, that's right, it will make an obtuse angle. Here we have our three angles. 45 degrees, our acute angle, when the leg is low. 90 degrees, the right angle, when the leg is right at the height. And the white line is the obtuse angle when our leg is up above the 90 degree position. You could try this at home. You could stand holding on to a counter or table or chair for a little support and see the different shapes that your leg makes. If you have a mirror or window that reflects your image, you can watch there. Or you can have someone help you mark how high your leg goes. You can also lay down and try it with chalk, maybe outside with some sidewalk chalk, and see what types of shapes and angles you can make with your body.